Hello and welcome to this very quick look at this new product from ISDT. ISDT are one of the vendors that I really like for manufacturing chargers and other battery equipment. And I've had a lot of their kit over the past 10 years and really, really like it. So when I saw this new 405 AC 60 watt smart charger, I thought, oh, that's really interesting. I'll get one in and have a look. They're not expensive. They're about $43 on places like Banggood at the moment. And it's a little compact charging solution. Again, only for one to four S LiPo, but it will support, as I'll show you in a minute, LAHV, LAFE batteries, and other things as well. 60 watt maximum charging and a five amp maximum charging current. AC input is 100 to 240 volts, so even if you're traveling around the world, you'll be able to plug it in. And I think they've definitely aimed this at pilots that are coming into the hobby that need a charger that they don't want to spend a fortune on, but they know they can rely on with the basic functions that they need. Specifications on this are that again, this is the 405 AC 60 watt smart charger. Input voltage is AC only, 100 to 240 volts. So you're gonna have to plug this thing into the wall. There are different versions available on the website. Make sure you order the right one so it comes with the right cable, but it's a standard connection, the kind of thing you have in back of most kettles and things like that. So not tricky to get if you do get the wrong one. Output voltage is five to 18.5 volts. Charging current is 0.1 to 5 amps. Discharging current is 0.1 to 1 amps. Maximum charge power is 60 watts. Maximum discharge power is pretty low. It's only five watts. Balanced current is 0.2 amps per cell. So that's gonna take a little while too. So all in all, all the basics are kind of covered here. But I think that is the challenge with this. I think it is the basics, some of the more advanced features that we're getting in modern chargers these days with the ability to do funky stuff just isn't really here. So here on the bench, let me show you the interface and how it works. It's very, very simple. And I think this is really aimed at those who are maybe coming into the hobby and trying to simplify things as much as possible. So we're obviously gonna to have to power it in order to play with this thing. So let me plug it into the mains. We get the welcome message, and then we get the kind of default screen. Now to change things, what we have to do is kind of, if you press the button in the middle, and then you have the two up and down buttons, we kind of get the settings that we're currently on. We have charge, set for LiPo, a 4S battery, the voltage for each of the cells, and the charging current. Now to change any of these settings, what you need to do is press and hold the middle button, and then the element that you're about to change will start to flash. At the moment, we're set for charge, but if I move up and down, and this is the thing that at the moment kind of annoys me, it feels that this is an early version of the interface, it doesn't roll around. So if we go the other way, we have discharge, and we have storage, and that's it. So we only have three modes. There's no destroy, there's no wackiness at all that you can get on some of the more advanced chargers. But again, I think for a newbie, that's probably all you need. Let's go, first of all, let's have a look at good old um, charge. Hit the enter button, it'll go into LiPo. So the chemistries that it supports are LiPo, LAHV, lithium ion, LAFE, lead acid, nickel metal hydride, ULIHV, and that's it. Again, it doesn't scroll around. Let's go back to our friend the LiPo, because most of us are going to be use LiPo or LIHV. Let's go LiPo, hit enter. Obviously, then we have the option to set the different number of cells. We can then set the voltage. Uh, let's have a look at what the voltage range is on here. I know I get questions every time I look at this. What can you adjust it? So at the moment it's can go down to a target of 4.15 volts and you can increase it on the standard LiPo settings to 4.25 volts. That's the range that we have there. Again, for me, this up and down is kind of the wrong way around. Uh, pressing the up arrow makes the amount go down and vice versa. You'd very quickly get used to that, but I know when I first started playing with this, it kind of didn't make sense to my brain. We'll hit enter again. Then we're on to the amperage, which is set for maximum. So we can go down in one or 0.1 amp increments all the way down to 0.1 of an amp. Now I'm about to charge a 2.2 
battery. So we'll set it for 2.2. So when we finish the settings, press and hold the enter key again, and then we're all set. So we're going to charge a LiPo battery to 4.2 volts a cell. It's going to be 4S and we're going to do 2.2 amps. So let me put it on the table. Let me plug a battery in. Uh, this just happens to be one of these old, uh, older Tattoo 2200 kind of compact packs. I use these a lot in my Atom RC stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll plug it in here. We'll plug the balance tap into the connector. There we have it. And then we'll, get, we'll hit enter. And then just immediately it kind of jumps in. So we can see here the different cell voltages. We can see all of the indications here, what's going on, how many amps it's taken in. We can see the resistances inside. I'm not sure I completely agree with those yet. I imagine that once it's running for a little bit longer, those will change. And that's kind of what it does. And then as it finishes, it'll kind of beep and let you know that it's finished charging. So this is a very, very simplistic, simple, easy to use charger that if you are new to the hobby and you don't want to have a hundred different options on your charger, you just want to charge your batteries that are up to 4S, then this is probably going to be right up your street. Again, personally, I prefer dual port chargers. Most of us start with a single port charger like this early in our radio control career. If you get the bug and you start buying more and more things, happens to an awful lot of us, then you'll very soon realize that actually to charge the three or four batteries you want to take with you to the field or to the racetrack or whatever it is you're using, having two ports will half the time, having a four port charger will cut the time by two thirds. So I just thought I would show you this. Uh, this is one that, like I say, I quite like the ISDT brand for chargers. I've had quite a few of them here. It's one of the ones that I probably trusted for the longest. It's great to see them bringing out a little a smaller compact unit like this for those of you that are coming into the hobby and relatively new and you don't want to be overwhelmed with stuff. But I think for those of us that have been in the hobby for a bit longer, this is going to be overly simplistic with the lack of functions like destroy and other things that potentially when you get more into the hobby and your batteries come to the end of your life, you're going to want and need. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.